it's Alice and I'm here today to share the 20 books that I managed to buy for £10 today. <laughs> to a jumble sale and it was a mistake because all the books are 50p so I bought £10 worth and I was trying not to haul too much this month because it's nearly Christmas and I'm not meant to be buying myself things but 50p a book how can you say no you can't which is why you've now got this video so without further ado let me run through the 20 books that I managed to buy and then let me also share a surprise fairy loot unboxing at the end because I've had a fairy loot parcel arrive and I don't think I've had any shipping notifications from them so who knows what that is? <laughs> First off, let me show you the Raymond E. Feist books that I managed to buy today because there are a stack of them. So we managed to get Mistress of the Empire and Servant of the Empire, which are books two and three in one of Raymond E. Feist's series. Annoyingly enough, the first book in this series was in a charity shop the other day and I didn't pick it up because I hadn't heard of the series. So now I've got both of these for a pound and I can't get hold of the first one. So I'll keep an eye out for that and hopefully haul that at some point. We have Silverthorn and A Darkness at Sethanon, which are books two and three in the Riffor Saga Cycle, I think is what it's called. Um, but these follow the book Magician, which I bought a couple of months ago. I haven't had a chance to start yet, but these are a lot skinnier than Magician is, so that makes me more inclined to read this series. We also have Murder in the Mutt by Raymond E. Feist and Joel Rosenberg. Um, this is part of that Rift War series, but it's like a standalone story. As well as The King's Buccaneer by Raymond E. Feist, which is the sixth book, sixth book in the Rift War cycle. Um, have a good books four or five, but it was 50p. <laughs> and we also have Shadow of a Dark Queen, which is the first book in the Serpent War saga. So this is the first book in yet a di another different series, but at least it's the first book. So if we read this one and we like it, then we can keep an eye out for the others. I also picked up two middle grades, which are Oggy and Me by RJ Palacio. This is three short stories set in the same world and following the same characters as the book Wonder, which I gave five stars to. I read last year. It made me absolutely bore my eyes out. I loved it. Um, I've actually read the Julian short story as a ebook out of my library, but I haven't been able to get hold of the other two and now I have them. And I also have A Place Called Perfect by Helena Duggan. I've seen this one recommended on JDA Reads channel because the art is by Carl James Mountford, who is her favourite cover artist. Um, so I grabbed this one because I really like the style. Um, yeah, and everyone wears glasses and is neat and tidy and perfectly behaved all the time. Um, and it sounds like it's kind of creepy because it's a place called Perfect, but is it really perfect? So excited to read this one. I then got an absolute stack of Terry Goodkind books because there were seven of those and I got all of them because as I said, 50p each, can't go wrong. So I got Wizard's First Rule, Stone of Tears, Blood of the Fold, Temple of the Winds, Soul of the Fire, Faith of the Fallen, and the Pillars of Creation, which are all from the Wizards First Rule series. This is actually the first seven books in a row. I didn't know that when I bought them. I just picked them all up because a friend had recommended Terry Goodkind to me. And I was like, yeah, that's definitely something that's been recommended. And I'll grab them because they're 50p each. And I didn't realise it was like consecutive books in a series. But I hope I enjoyed the first one. Or why have I got seven of these? But 50p each. That's why. I also got The Woman in the Woods by John Connolly. This is book, I don't even know what number in the Charlie Parker series. 16. I have the first 12. I don't have 13, 14 or 15 yet, but now I've got 16. So I can start collecting those as I spot them in charity shops and eventually catch up on the series. I've read the first one. But I really loved it. I really, really loved it. So much so that I know I'm going to binge through these eventually. So I just keep picking them up, especially when they're 50p and it's like brand new hardback condition. I also have two Robert Jordan books, The Fires of Heaven, which I do already have in a trade paperback sark dial, um, but it's very, very bashed up and falling apart. So I think if I try to read that one, it might just kill it completely. So I'm going to read this one and then donate it again because it does have like a miscut and all of the, all of the words go very, very close to the bottom of the page um, and we nearly lose some of the story. Um, so we'll read this copy when we get to book five. We're currently stuck in the middle of book four three four definitely four um but yeah when we eventually get to book five this will now be the copy that we read and we also managed to pick up book 11 which is life of dreams we had books one through to nine and book 13 um we've now got book 11 so we just have to look over 10 12 and any after 13 14 and 15 and the prequel 
so I'm happy with that one. And last but not least, adding to our ever-growing Stephen King collection that we're still not reading, we managed to get Christine, which is about a car and I don't really know much else about it, but it looks cool. It's a cool, funky, old-style hardcover. It's very, like, bad condition and beaten up, but again, 50p. I can't go wrong. So those are 20 books that I managed to get for £10 and I'm really really chuffed because like this by itself is going to give me hours of enjoyment because they're so so chunky and this is meant to be 8 99 if I bought this brand new so to get 20 books for £1 and one penny more than one of these brand new I'm, I'm happy with it and this is why I always go to jumble sales and I always go charity shopping and I hate myself for it and why we've had to do a mid-month book haul rather than just waiting until the end of the month because we would have had too many to talk about once I get my Christmas presents and things because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have some books in there I normally get books for Christmas but now let me move on to my surprise fairy do unboxing I will grab my parcel I have grabbed my parcel and we'll find out together what the hecky deck is in her because I have no idea. I've ordered so much from Perry Loop and half of it has been delayed until next year or it feels like it has either been delayed or it's going to be delayed. Um, I can't think of anything I'm still expecting to arrive this year but we're gonna find out together and it is bright blue? I thought it was going to be gold, I thought it was going to be gilded. I thought it was going to be pink, it might have been Alvin and Ends. <laughs> what if I ordered this, like this gorgeous shade of blue? Oh, the gilded cage by the Net Nonny. Okay, yeah, I forgot I'd ordered this. This is the sequel to the Prison Healer. Um, oh, it has like a dagger and some flowers. That's really cool. And it's got the block spray at the top and the bottom. It is signed by the net nonny and it has the under the dust jacket foiling to match the first book which i absolutely loved about the first book and it also has under the dust jacket artwork which is stunning oh masquerade masquerade i love masquerade scenes oh okay i'm really excited to read this one now i mean i really liked the first one of these it was a little bit kind of cliche ya but in like the best way and it was really reminiscent of some of the best ya that i've read um so i'm looking forward to reading this book and then eventually reading on and reading book three in may i believe so thank you fairy Lou, for sending this through because i'd forgotten i'd ordered it and this has just made me a very happy girl <laughs> And thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed the fact that I have hauled too many books and it's only 10 days, 11 days into December. Uh, whoops. <laughs> My house is full of books and it's a problem. But I will eventually read some of them, I hope. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you'd like to subscribe, we would be super duper grateful. We're posting a new video every single day in December, so we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Bye! Also, do you love my Pusheen Christmas shirt? Because this shit is just too cute. It's just too cute. It's Pusheen and it's Christmas. I love it.